Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Incarcerator app. So I'm also going to post this on my uh, IC Jailbreakers channel, but if you haven't subscribed to my How About Not 11 channel, which is the alias I'm making this video under, then please subscribe to that. I'm ICU2 on that channel, and anyway, uh, basically what this app does is it lets you keep uh, prying people in the application that you've designated. So let's say you wanted to show your friend an app in the App Store and they say give me your device and you don't trust them. You can do the set gesture that you've done in Activator, like I'll do mine quickly. And as you can see, uh, it basically says that it's locked. So I'll press the home button and you can hear me pressing it right now. And nothing's happening. So it's an amazing app and you can quickly disable it via the same method that you use to enable it. And as you can see a little message pops up when I enable and disable and now I can press the home button just fine. So in order to get this you're going to need to be A jailbroken and B you're going to need to be on 3.0 or above. I think it might even be 3.1.2 or above. I'm not 100% sure though. So once City is finished loading up you're just going to go down to the bottom, go to search, and then search I N C A and then it'll be the first one that'll pop up you don't need to add anything because it's from the big boss repo and it's in cursor app so just click on it and then install and confirm and you're also gonna need SB settings to hide it from uh, prying people if you don't have it so just search S B S E T T I N G and before you exit the keyboard, it's the second one that pops up right there. If you just type in SB setting, and it's also from the Big Boss repository, so you don't need to add anything. And it's just simply amazing. It's how I can access everything just by sliding over on my status bar, pretty much. So once you've downloaded it, you'll be left with this app. Incarcer app right here, and it shows a little picture of two hands holding uh, bars from a jail cell. And then when you load it up, you get a couple of options. I'm not going to go over those because you guys can figure it out. And then control via activator, which uh, is a dependency, and it'll install that if you don't already have it. And then just set it to whatever you want. I just set mine to volume buttons up and then down. So it's kind of like up and then down like you're locked in. Like, see, look, and then I'm locked in right there. Uh, so I can't exit out. But obviously that isn't a very good system because people can still be like wait wait a minute I see this app right here I'm gonna click on it and then they're like oh it would be funny to lock you out of your app well I don't think that's very funny so in SB settings you can slide over and then go to the more at the bottom and it shows a little picture of a gear for settings and then once it's finished loading you're going to end up going to hide icons and once it's done enumerating your applications, you're going to scroll down until you find it and then just click off. Now, it won't, you won't have to respring or anything. As you can notice, uh, my app isn't there anymore because it's hidden in. If I search, however, it's still there, unfortunately, but I don't think anyone's going to know to search for that. But, yeah, you basically just have it hidden and you can lock people out of different applications like from going to the home screen and opening up other applications like your messaging if you don't want them to. So, yeah, I just showed you guys how to make your device safer and this is ICU2 signing out.